Hey everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome to episode episode 21 of my MLB 17 franchise play with the New York Mets. Um, as I said, this is episode 21. If you guys aren't caught up, please refer to my channel. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a quick update of what's going on before I play the next game. So we ended up actually winning the next game um, against the Dodgers 3-2 as the Mets won in 15 innings. I burnt out my entire bullpen. Um, it was actually a walk-off home run by Jay Bruce in one game. Um, also, uh, Gary Sanchez hit his 20th home run of the year, and that's it. And then, the next game, we actually ended up losing to LA uh, to finish the series. We still ended up winning the series, but uh, Jacob DeGron ended up getting his sixth loss of the year. Um, the Dodgers get, scored late in the game, right in the eighth inning, and that was just good. We couldn't score a single damn run. Um, but and just being an RBI by Wilmer Flores in the first inning, that was it. Next game we lost again. Uh, it's a two-game series against Texas. They ended up winning four to three in 15 innings again. Um, it was Josh Evgen's uh, first loss of the year, um, and that was it. We got only eight hits in the game, but could not uh, could not produce. Uh, Juan Cespedes has been struggling for me. He's not been able to get a lot of base hits. He's had a double here and there, a single here and there, but the power he had early in the season is no longer there. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with my lineup to try to shuffle things around. Uh, Jay Bruce and Michael Conforto continues to struggle as well. So I'm still trying to figure out a good combo here. Um, but yeah, we are finishing this series against the um, against the Rangers. And I'm going to try to move around the lineup here. Maybe put uh, Neil Walker up at first. Um, probably David Wright. And then UNS Jay Bruce. Doing a little better, uh, but still batting 218, so I'm still gonna put him at the bottom. Um, and then we're gonna have Lucas do it there, and then I'm gonna have these two guys, two guys in the bottom lineup. Look at Michael Conforto batting 211, and then look at Jay Bruce batting 218. I have to find a way to improve these guys. Um, but the lineup I'm gonna go with tonight is gonna be Neil Walker, David Wright, followed by Ioannis Cespedes. Uh, Strugo Cabrera, Gary Sanchez, Lucas Duda, the recently traded Lucas Duda in real life. Uh, I'm going to miss the guy, he's been in the Mets since the beginning, but um, Michael Conforto, Jay Bruce, and Steven Matz. Um, Steven Matz right now is, let's see his pitching stats right now. He is 12-3 with a 2.6 ERA. Um, it's been a little tough for me to pitch with him, but he's been doing... You've been doing work, and uh, let's get this game started. I'll see you guys in City Field. What a Father's Day gift for Seaton. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. Here we are in City Field uh, for this afternoon game. And let's go get it. We have Steven Matz in the mound here, as I said. It's the 22nd start of the season. Again, 12 and 3 with a 2.6 ERA. Uh, looking to shut down these Rangers. 1 and 2 to Elvis Andrew. It's going to be ground out from right to Duda. Route number 1. As we have the first out of the game, we're going to take a look at the lineup for the Rangers. I don't know why he's a little winded, but uh, we have Elvis Andrews, followed by Carlos Gomez, Adrian Beltre, Odor, Jonathan Lucroy, Mike Napoli, Shinsu Chu, the line of the Shields Jr., and Tyson Ross. Uh, everybody's batting over, almost over 250. It's pretty amazing, the team. And uh, the ball. 2-2, two two. Carlos Gomez after that ball. Got him soon with a changeup for out number two. Got him with a curveball. Caught the edge of the corner, and that's out number one of inning number two. Three and two to Lucroy. He's going to get the middle, and it's going to be safe at first as it hits off the mound. Man on first. First baseman, number five. Mike Napoli. That's gonna be base hit. Mike Napoli is gonna put runners on first and second now. Back-to-back -back hits for the Rangers. 
So Matt has to get his uh, stuff together. Get out of his inning. <laughs> After a long foul ball. Matt steals, throws. Got him with the fastball. That is a big out for Steven Matz. Striking out Shin Chu Chu. Got him with a curveball, getting the Shields Jr. out to get out of the inning. That's going to be a base hit by Elvis Andrews. He's going to go to second here. Uh, Suspice throws. And it is a double for Elvis Andrews. Uh, for a second batter of third inning. One and two. Carlos Gomez in third. It's going to be a pop up. Is Elvis going to move over to third base? Nope. He's going to hold him at second base. <clears throat> Matt's 46 pitch of this game. It's going to be a pop up to Adrian Beltre. And caught by Conforto, and it's the end of the inning. And it's going to be a walk to Michael Conforto to start the third inning. I believe that's a Mets, Mets first base runner for the game. And that is Jay Bruce driving into right field. This is going to be a home run. That is a towering shot, and that is a two run bomb. By Jay Bruce. The outfielder actually fooled me a little bit. By second Fordo continuing to run. That is another home run by Jay Bruce. The eighth spot seems to be working well with him right now. As the Mets get a 2-0 lead early in the game as they wander uh, as he wanders into home plate. That is his 33rd home run of the season. Going 269 feet. Let's take a look at our replay here. Oh, that's, uh, I believe that's going to be a base hit for Jonas Cespedes as it, as it hit into third baseman. And we have a runner on first base to start the inning. It's going to be a base hit. It's going to be a double for Struble. And going to hit the wall. Are they going to push Jonas home? And they are. Jonas is rounding. Throw at home. And he's out at home. Oh, what a what a base running. I guess it wouldn't be a mistake, but what a defensive play by the Rangers, round number one. That's gonna be a base hit. We try to send Cabrera home. Center field, throw to plate. He's out again! Oh my god, two outfield assist by the Rangers. What a play by Carlos Gomez in both rows. Full count to the line of the Shields here in the fifth. Matt throws. That's a swing and a miss on that curveball. Steven Matt continues to roll. And work on the uh, Rangers here. The ring to the Carlos Gomez. Get him, got him looking with a fastball as Matt continues to roll. Foul ball. After a foul ball by Mike Napoli. 90 second pitch by Matt. And that is no doubter. That is a home run. 2-1. to one. Uh, Mets right now with Napoli's home run. Which is a sinker that never sink, sunk. I guess that'd be the worst save, but Matt still had the lead here late in the game. And this should do it. This is a pop up by Lucroy. Do it underneath it. Ball game over. And that is Steven Matt's win of the another win of the year. I don't even remember. But it's another save for Joyce Familia as well. The only offense were just two home runs. One by the Rangers and a two and home run by Jay Bruce. So we actually kind of got lucky and it could have been a bigger game, but we ended up getting caught twice with the back to back plays by Carlos Gomez. But there's a winning pitcher right there who's cruising minus that home run by Mike Napoli as the Mets split the series with the Rangers. Um, and let's take a look at the player of the game here. 
It is Steven Matz. Uh, as I said, he was playing really well with 12 strikeouts, 7 innings pitched, uh, given 4 hits and 1 walk, but had that 1 home run. Uh, he's now 13-3, and Familia came in for his 37th save this season, and that spells out for the end of the game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this presentation of my MLB 17 franchise play for the New York Mets. Please click the like button if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and click the notification bell. And I'll see you guys with a new episode coming out soon. Take it easy and keep it too sweet.